And this is the latest addition to the Sapphire range, which has less inputs than the Sapphire Pro 26 I.O. Very similar. Uh, biggest differences is that it does not have the ADAT ability like the 26 I.O. So this one has 10 inputs and 10 outputs. So you still have the green series eight preamps on the back of the unit, and then you have the line inputs on the front, so either or. Um, you also have SPDIF left and right. Uh, you can use the Sapphire Pro 10 I.O. 24-bit up to 96K instead of 192. Take a look at the front panel, slightly different than the 26 I.O. You still have the same line inputs on the front, um, but you do not have the insert points like you do on the 26 I.O. Uh, when you plug something into these line inputs, it will bypass the preamps on the back. Now, first input, uh, you will turn on the phantom power. Uh, so you actually have a switch on the 10 I.O. instead of using it in the saf software GUI. Uh, so this will turn on one through four. And then you have a switch over here on input five that will turn on the phantom power five through eight. You, have, uh, you do not have high pass filters on all of these. You have an overload uh, LED on all inputs and gain control, of course. You do have a mute button and a dim switch. The dim switch will cut 40 dB on all outputs on the back, uh, but not the headphone outputs on the front. The mute button will mute all outputs on the back, but not the headphone mixes on the front. That's the front panel. Turn it around, see the back of the unit. Slightly different here as well. Starting, you still have the hardwired um, power supply, which you screw it on and it sits snug. You have SPDIF in and out. You have MIDI in and out. You have two FireWire ports you can connect to your external hard drive or any other FireWire device. But as you see, you do not have ADAT in and out and you do not have work clock. These are your analog TRS outputs. And these are your green series preamps you have eight of those. So as you see, the Sapphire 10 I.O. is slightly different, but very much the same as the 26 I.O. It uses a very similar Sapphire control, uh, similar coloring, but um, just doesn't have the exact same um, features as the 26 I.O. It does come bundled with uh, the Focusrite plugins in AU and VST versions, so you still get the the compressor, EQ, amp modeling, and the reverb. And that is pretty much a Sapphire Pro 10 IO.